The feeling of satisfaction that another video has been completed is always tainted with the sure knowledge that, in the current climate, it's going to be out of date before it's even been uploaded. Undaunted, here is another updated upload on updating and securing Node-RED as installed on the Raspberry Pi. I'm specifically mentioning Node-RED on the Pi as it's likely to be one of the most common implementations, but one that comes with some built-in gotchas that we want to avoid. A good deal has changed since the earlier video on this topic. Unfortunately, as we will see, upgrading is now a breeze thanks to the scripts involved in the reference below. I'm starting with a new, plain Raspberry and graphical user interface as downloaded directly from raspberrypi.org dated the 26th of December 2017. As this is a common starting point and this route, installing the full Raspberry and desktop, does not stop you from using your Pi for all of the other familiar applications you may rely on. If you are interested in dedicating a Pi specifically to IoT applications, then I suggest you visit Peter Scargill's excellent site. He explains how using Diet Pi, rather than Raspbian, can be used to enhance the performance of your system, and he has a wealth of other tips and tricks available. It's highly commended. We're all growing familiar with the apparently random names allocated to versions of operating systems, and former versions of Raspbian were named Wheezy and Jesse, and now Stretch has just been released. Buster and Bullseye are on their way, so let's take this opportunity to do a general upgrade and house clean. A quick note is that all of these upgrades are generally safe, but as always, back up any valuable data or code before you embark on this process. So let's get on. Step one is to open the console screen and enter sudo rpi-update. This may not need doing, but if it does, it only takes a few minutes, but it will need a reboot when it's completed. So, sudo shutdown minus r now. Once it returns, the full process for completeness is sudo apt-get minus y update. This should not take too long. sudo apt-y upgrade. This could take ages, so grab a coffee or beef tea. And finally, given that stretch is now available, sudo apt-get minus y dist upgrade to upgrade the distribution and reboot once completed for good measure. Everything should now be aligned as per the Raspberry Pi site. Node-RED is included in the default Raspbian, which is great as I doubt I would have come across it otherwise. Thank you to whoever it was that organized this little coup. The downside of this setup is it's far from the latest version of Node-RED or the packages that support it, such as Node.js. And we can see the version of Node.js by typing Node-V, the VFLAV for version. And here, version 4.82 is reported, whereas version 9.3 is currently available in the real world. Now, Node comes from a different background from Raspbian and uses a different method of upgrading, as we saw in the previous video. Raspbian comes with the command apt-get to manage packages, and this will work effectively if you don't mind the slightly out-of-date versions and some other operating restrictions. If you want to be serious about the latest version of Node-RED and Node.js, we have to ditch the standard distribution, drop the use of apt-get, and move across to npn, the Node Packet Manager. But this will not be installed by default. We need to do some housekeeping then, and whilst upgrading Node-RED and Node, install the Node Packet Manager, NPM, at the same time. It should be noted that once we've performed this upgrade, the Node-RED package is controlled by NPM and not apt-get. This is a list of instructions that are needed to remove the old Node-RED, install the Node Package Manager, and install Node and NPM, and tidy everything up. Fortunately, we do not need to type all of this in. We can run these instructions from a remote site, but it's still quite an error-prone line to type in. For this reason, I've left the copy of this link in the reference below for you to copy and paste into place if you wish. To briefly explain this line, bash is the born-again shell that's run on the Pi. It's bash that decodes the lines you enter at the command prompt, amongst other things. Curl is curl, developed in the late 1990s to allow us to fetch the commands specified in the secure hyperlink. These flags, small s and capital L, have meanings. L defines this location, and the small s means do it silently, as opposed to verbose, where it would stream information to the screen during the operation. Note the location is all surrounded by these parentheses, and this less than character can be seen to be a small arrow, pointing back to bash meaning curl all of this back into the bash command. Primitive, but effective. 
Press enter and the script begins by checking that you wish to do the upgrade. It explains everything in detail and if you're still up for this adventure, hit that Y key. This is a really good installer script and replaces the long process in the previous video already mentioned. It will take about five minutes, but the great text presentation displays the progress, hopefully inserting green ticks at this stage and including helpful feedback about the version numbers of the packages as they are upgraded. It's impressive. Note the reference to the error log file to check all has gone well. Have a look at the script. You can see it using a standard browser. All done, and there are the instructions to start Node Red from the command line node hyphen red hyphen start, or via the GUI in the usual manner menu programming Node Red. No change there. The final line then displays the link to Node Red when it's running. You have the option of using a browser to point to itself http colon slash slash 127.0.0.1, the me address as we call it, and colon 1880, which is port 1880. You can now also run the browser from another machine and point it to your Pi at its IP address, colon 1880 again. To discover your IP address, simply enter ifconfig. And on the remote machine, enter http colon slash slash your IP address, colon 1880 slash, to check that all is working. Remember this IP address as you will need it later. Entering node minus V returns version 8.9.3 on my current installation and NPM minus V returns 5.5.1 on this current version. One last step. There is a great utility that checks the latest version and upgrades for us. It's called N. Just N. We can use NPN to install N. This is all getting very incestuous. So entering sudo npn install minus g n. The minus g means install globally. And we see the confirmation that n version 2.1.8 is installed. Let's try to do an upgrade to the very latest version by entering sudo n latest and enter. sudo shutdown minus r now. And when it returns, node minus v. And we are now up to version 9.3.0. Is there no end to this? Opening a terminal, we can start and stop node red using the commands node red start to start node red and node red stop. It's important to watch node red starting as it yields a lot of information about what is happening about the program that runs in the background. Entering node red start, we see the log appearing. And this is typical. There's an error with the serial module. It's well known and easy to fix, but you have to enter the root directory of node red for this to work. In the terminal screen, enter ls minus la. As you use a pi, you should see this directory. Change into this hidden directory, cd dot node hyphen red. To prove this, type ls minus la again to see these files. And now enter node red stop, sudo npm rebuild. This should bring the serial module up to date. On the return, node hyphen red hyphen start and check the error disappears. The log file just writes to the screen. Now you can press control C to come out of the logging screen, but this does not stop node red that continues in the background. Note the five important command lines shown when node red starts. Node red start, Node red stop, start and stop node red, and don't forget all of those hyphens, and the ability to auto start node red as a service at startup with sudo systemctl enable. You could stop here, but I don't like having node red open to all, particularly if you're going to use it seriously in, say, your own home automation system. We need to toughen up this front end. There are two easy actions to be taken here. The first is to add a username and password to protect the editor. And the second is to transfer everything over to using HTTPS to encode all of the communications with Node-RED from any remote machine. We need to place password control on the front end and use HTTP secure encrypted communications. Before we start this upgrade, it's advisable to ensure everything is stopped and there is no residual activity. Enter sudo systemctl disable node red dot service and node hyphen red hyphen stop and reboot so do the shutdown minus r now when the pi returns we can make our changes let's first switch to https 
Now, to use HTTPS, we need certificates, and real certificates cost money. But we can self-certify and make our own for free, just to allow HTTPS to operate. Get used to switching to the hidden node red directory seen before. So, cd slash home slash pi slash dot node hyphen red. Do an ls minus la to see the files and directories. Dot configure json, package dot json, and setting dot js. Enter. Open SSL, generate RSA, out private key perm 1024. There's a quick flourish of dots and crosses as the generation progresses. And when the cursor returns, enter. Open SSL, require, minus new, minus key, private key, PEM, out, private SCSR, PEM. A series of questions are asked. GB is the response here in the UK. Elsewhere, you'll need to open this link to see your code for your own country. Enter the details to the series of questions. But when you come to the common name, pay particular attention to this. The simplest thing to do is to enter the IP address of your device, as you should have remembered from before, and email address. These are additional attributes, a challenge password, an optional company name. They don't matter. The prompt returns. Open SSL X509. And there's a nice signature confirmation. LS minus LA now displays the important files private key.pm and certificate.pem. Use nano to edit settings.js and uncomment this line. VAR FS equals require FS. Move down to HTTPS and uncomment this whole section, including the curly braces. This is the certificates in place. Now, to look at the authentication, move down and uncomment this section, admin auth, and save and exit. We need to encode the password, and to do this, we need to install some encryption software, and this is done with node red admin. So, enter. Enter node red admin hash pw. Enter the password you require. Left swipe the cursor across the complete code. Right click and copy. Reopen the settings.js file and relocate the auth admin section and carefully paste in the hashed password. Save, exit, start node red again. Node red start. And note the address now shows https colon slash slash 127.0.0.1 colon 1800 slash and start the browser by pointing to this address if you're using a browser on the Pi. You should get this warning about cert authority being incorrect. This situation has to be confirmed as being acceptable and the process differs depending upon the browser being used. On normal operation on the internet, you'd be very careful about accepting certificates from an unknown source, but here it's acceptable because it's for your own local use and you understand what is happening. Once through the browser security, the package security splash screen should appear. Enter admin in lowercase and the password you encoded earlier. If accepted, everything in the video has been achieved. In the coming videos, we will be securing MQTT and designing our first node. In the interim, if you like this video, please click the like below. Ooh.